Hi all. In this video, we will see one more application of the Gauss law that is when Gauss law is applied to infinite sheet charge, how we can find electric field intensity and electric flux density. I am considering a sheet charge which is placed in a z is equal to zero plane that is z is equal to zero means the it lies in the infinite sheet lies in x y plane and I am considering the infinite sheet charge has a surface charge density of rho s coulomb per meter square and to find electric field intensity first I have to identify what is a Gaussian surface I am considering a rectangular box as a Gaussian surface which has placed along z axis in the plane of x y now I am considering a small area ds which is along x y plane which is perpendicular to z axis so the normal vector which is perpendicular to z the which is perpendicular to plane ds is a z cap and the electric flux direction of the electric flux density is along d axis so there won't be a the component with respect to x and y because our sheet the infinite sheet charge lies on the x y plane so we have to take only the z component so d has only z component so i can write d is equal to dz into az cap so the this elemental area ds can be written as dx into dy into az cap now to as per gauss law you can write q is equal to surface integration of d dot ds if you look at this Gaussian surface, this Gaussian surface has many three parts. One is top surface, bottom surface and sides of, sides of this rectangular box. This sides of the rectangular box is, lies on the xy plane. The sides of the rectangular box lies on the xy plane. So, the d component with respect to xy plane is zero. So, I can write the surface integration with respect to side d dot ds is equal to 0. So, this term becomes 0 because the d component with respect to x, y plane is 0. Now, I have to find what is the top, the component with respect to top and component with respect to bottom surfaces. If you see here top surface, the d has only one component which is in the direction of z. So, I can write d is equal to dz into az cap because it is moves along in the direction of a in the direction of z axis so it is positive so dz into az cap similarly ds can be written as dx dy into the normal vector az cap so if you take dot product of this this will be d dot ds is equal to dz into dx dy because az cap dot az cap is equal to 1. Now if you take bottom surface, at bottom surface the direction of d is opposite to direction of z axis that is in the negative direction. So the unit vector parallel to ds is taken as the unit vector which is in the direction of d is taken as minus. So I can write d is equal to minus az cap into z dz and the ds is previously we take the ds direction in the positive direction of z axis now it is in opposite direction so ds also can be written as dx dy into minus az cap if you take dot product you will get d dot ds is equal to dz into dx dy now to find q you have to substitute what is a component with respect to top surface and what is a component with respect to bottom surface you will get q is equal to the integration over the top surface dz dx dy plus integration over the bottom surface dz dx dy now dz dz is a scalar quantity if you take this outside you will get top surface of the integration over the top surface dx dy plus integration over the bottom surface dx dy into dz. Now the integration over the top surface dx dy which is equal to integration over the top surface dx dy which is equal to which is taken as a the area of the surface of the Gaussian surface. So this area and this area is taken as a this taken as a. 
Now, if you substitute this in this equation, you will get 2 into dz into a. You will get, if you substitute a as in surface integration of bottom surface dx dy as a and surface integration of top dx dy as a, and if you simplify, you will get u equal to 2 into dz into a. Now, you know that q is given by surface charge density into area of the surface. Surface charge density into area of surface. So, this is this is the other equation of Q. Now, equating these two equations, you will get rho s is equal to 2 dz and with the modifying this equation, you will get dz is equal to rho s by 2. So, what is d now? d is along z axis. So, I can write dz into az cap. So, dz is rho s by 2 into az cap. So, expression for d will be rho s by 2 into az cap coulomb per meter square. Now, to obtain ele the electric field intensity, we can use the relation between d and e. So, that is e is equal to d by epsilon naught. So, d is rho s by 2 into epsilon naught into az cap will be the expression for electric field intensity. Thank you.